Hi, my name is Eden Gerger, and this is day two of my daily vlog for my last months in Japan. Um, so, last time I talked about how I was going to stay at a Rotarian's house um, last night and then have a Rotary event today, which did happen and it was really fun. So today was um, actually an orientation for the outbound um, exchange students, not actually anything to do with me at all. <laughs> But, um, they're for support, I guess, and they had good food for lunch, so that's always good. And then afterwards, um, I went out with all the other, um, inbounds, and then some of the outbounds, not all the outbounds were able to make it, but some of the outbounds, um, in Japan, there's like a couple things that you usually do when you're hanging out with someone, or like a group of people, like you either go see a movie, or you take furikura, or you do karaoke, or you, um, what else do you do? Walk around, um, go shopping, um, yeah, just, you know, things like that. And so, since we wanted to hang out for a while, we decided to go take, well, we decided to go do karaoke, karaoke. And, um, that's fun, because what you do is, it's, I don't know, I've never done karaoke in America. That's not really a big thing in America um, to do when you like are hanging out with your friends when you're out on like a date day or whatever. But um, in Japan, it's really, really common and really fun to do with all your friends because what you do is you go into this karaoke place and you rent out a room and you can also order food and drinks. So you would go and you rent out the room and then you um, sing a whole bunch of songs with your friends and it's like real microphones and it's, just, it's like it's actually quite terrifying but it's fun and like I do sing I cannot sing I mean I no one really cares that you can't sing as long as you're like having fun if you're scared or if you think you can't sing or whatever once you get over the initial fear and you sing one song then after that I think for the most part it just becomes fun and carefree because like honestly if you can't sing it doesn't matter it's a way to challenge yourself, and everyone obviously challenges themselves differently, differently, because everyone has different fears and things that they're good at, and so um, singing in front of people is something that's difficult for me to do, but I think that karaoke has really, really, really helped me with that, because I never, I mean, I love to sing, I sing all the time, I love to sing, and it's really, 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 really nice to be able to just be like, this is my voice, this is who I am, I love to sing, I'm gonna sing. And I think it's quite freeing, actually. Plus, I think that's a good um, life lesson, just to... If you just try things, you might find out if they're fun, even if they are scary. And in the end, it's not whether or not you can sing, or whether or not you're good at whatever you're doing that you're, you're scared of in the first place. It's just whether or not you had fun. We went and we took Purikura, which is... Um, I actually have a vlog about that in the very beginning. It was my last actual vlog that I took, but, um, it was so much fun. And I, so we took some of the whole group, and then the guys were like, this sucks, we don't want to take Buddha Buddha. So we, um, they went and played in the arcade, and the girls and I took some more Buddha and they're very adorable, and I can show them to you. Alright, here is with everyone. Well, you can see that. But that's with everyone, and then this is with just me and the girls. Chokaine, very cute. I love Pudikura, and like, it's. I think it's not. Well, part of the reason, obviously, is because I just I love pictures in general. But um, I also it's memories, and it reminds you of the day and the people and also they're just like super adorable and I love adorable things. Anyway, so that is it for this video and um, I love you guys. Thank you for listening. Arigatou gozaimashita. <laughs>